question 22. So first thing I'm going to do here, so I'm just going to draw myself a sketch so I can get an idea of what on earth's going on. So x squared plus y squared equals 40 is a, is a circle, so we should know that. There we go. Um, and then we're told about a. a is 0.26, so that's about there. So there's point A. It also talks about a tangent uh, going through point A. So that means we're just going to have a straight line that's going to go something like that there. Now the question is asking us to work out the area of triangle O A P just here. So obviously we've got a little bit of work to do here. Alright, so let's have a think about the information that we've got. Well, to work out the area of a triangle, it's half times the base times the height. Now we already have the height. The height is, is 6. So therefore we can write the half times the base times 6. Now the real question is what's the length of the base? So in other words, the length down here. What's the coordinate of P really? That's, that's, that's what the question really is. So how are we going to get there? Well, let's first, let's think about, uh, we, need the, we need the equation of this line over here. So in order to do that, we need the gradient of OA. So if we think about OA gradient, it's the difference in Y over the difference in X. So the gradient there will be equal to 6 over two, which is equal to three. So what about our gradient, the gradient of AP? Because that's really what we're interested in. Remember these lines are going to be perpendicular. So therefore the rule is, is that we flip it around and change the sign because the two gradients multiplied together should equal minus one. Right, so now we've got the gradient of our equation. So let's write down, so where are we up to? We've got y equals minus a third x plus c. So I need to work out the intersection point up here. So let's put in our known points, 2 and 6. So if we do that, we've got 6 equals minus a third, multiply by the 2, and add C. Now, if you rearrange that, C ends up being 6 and 2 thirds. Now, mathematicians do not like mixed fractions, so uh, when we're getting into higher level maths, it's much easier to write it as a top-heavy fraction. So as a top-heavy fraction, that's 20 over 3. All right, so now we've got that bit there. Now all we've got left to do, really, to work out this value of P, is we know that the Y value there is 0. So 0 equals, and then just sub in. We're trying to work out what the X value is. So it's minus a third multiply by the X. That's the thing that we're trying to work out and then plus our C value, which is 20 over 3. Now, if you rearrange that, X will equal 20. All right, so obviously you've got to do a little bit of work to find out what that value just is there. Now, we just come back. Now we've got the base. That's That part is the base. So we can just simply quite easily just drop him in there. So the area of our triangle is equal to a half 
multiplied by 20 multiplied by 6 which is 60 so our answer is 60 and I suppose to be technically correct we should put units squared so a lot going on with that question quite a tricky one but it's the last question so it should be hard 